Hello and welcome to Pixel History. I'm your host and Roblox trophy wife, Canon White. And I'm your co-host of Minecraft Slumlord, Mallory Plunk. So even though this is our first episode, it's going to be kind of short. Oh, yes, I mean, oh man, why? Because early video game history is next to impossible to find because the industry started in the 70s, but the tech has existed since the 50s. But would most people never see a computer back then because they were too busy hunting down commies? Yeah, but people who were building computers back then wanted to show off how cool they were and made what can be considered at least ancestors to video games. Were any, were any of them fun? No, but guess what the first one that we know of is called? Mallory, you can leave? No. Mallory, are we going to Arby's after we're done recording? No, only if you behave. You're not my dad. Oh, for the love of my life. It was called Cathode Ray Tube Amusement Device. Sounds like it was made by bigger squares than you. Correct, it was made by Thomas T. Goldsmith and Essel Ray Mann in 1947. Then in 1950, we had Birdie the Brain built by Joseph Cates and was the first public showing of an electronic game at the Canadian National Expo. What kind of game was it? A tic-tac-toe simulator. Oh. Yeah, but nobody heard about it because, you know, Canada is a third world country. So a year later, a company called Ferranti showed off their game Nimrod at the New York World Fair and got a lot more attention. What kind of game was it? A tic-tac-toe simulator. I'm sensing a pattern. But that's going to continue even when we get it out of electronic games and into actual video games. What's the difference? Well, an electronic game is just a game that requires electronic components in some way. Like a skee-ball machine, but a video game is just a game that is projected on a screen. So, all video games are electronic games, but not all electronic games are video games. Oh, so it's like how Pinball's not a video game, but Space Cadet is the greatest video game of all time? I mean, that's a bit controversial, but I guess... <laughs> I finally got one! So when were the first video games made? Well, in 1952, Alexander S. Douglas made at least one of the first games to display visuals called OXO. What kind of game is it? A tic-tac-toe simulator. Oh, how original. Then at Michigan University in 1954, William Brown and Ted Lewis created the first game to update in real time, and it was a... A tic-tac-toe simulator! No, we're not doing that anymore! Oh, come on! It was a pool simulator, and it updated at 40 frames per second. But these were not the first video games. Why? Because they were still made to show off how cool they were at making computer programs and hardware. So what was the first game? Well, at Brookhaven National Laboratory, one man thought that people would be bored by their exhibits of nuclear reactors and stuff because they weren't dynamic enough. But it's splitting the stuff that makes everything in half! It's not dynamic enough. See one potentially world-ending bomb, seen them all. So William Higginbottom <laughs> used his expertise to modify a Donner Model 30 computer and made something that, excluding the controllers and monitor, was only the size of a microwave. How is that possible when a couple years earlier they needed an entire room just to store a computer? Well, even back then the tech was leapfrogging in design and efficiency. Plus he had experience with creating cutting edge tech since he was the head of the electronics division of the Manhattan Project. So he's responsible for two of the things my parents say is going to be the downfall of society? Yep, and for one of those things he started everything with his little tennis simulator called Tennis for Two. Hundreds of people lined up for hours just to play what is now considered the first video game. And people noticed. More and more people started making games for fun as computers became more and more available, and generalized programming languages like BASIC were developed. The most important of these was Space War. Star Wars? No, Space War. It was a space combat simulator where you fly in a spaceship. Star Wars. This was made almost a decade before Star Wars. It was based off a sci-fi book series called Lensman that then MIT students Martin Great, Steve Russell, and Wayne Will turn red. They wanted to have cool space battles. Like Star? If you say wars, I'm going to force choke you. Trek. Just let it go, Cannon. You got history to summarize. Anyway, they spent the next year making the game on DEC PDP-1. In 1962, the game blew people's minds with how in-depth it was, and since it was also uncomfortable to play on the computer for too long, they actually made the first game pads. Okay, that's all well and good, but weren't computers still crazy expensive? Yeah, it mostly remained a novelty between programmers. No one even attempted to commercialize it. Until the 70s, right? Look at you remembering what I said at the beginning of the video. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, at Stanford University, Bill Pitts and Hugh Tuck were developing a coin-op game based on Space War called Galaxy Game. Well, that's good. However... Well, that's bad. They ran into major difficulties because they... Just developing the hardware was so expensive that they had to sell it at $20,000 a pop. This was 1961. To give you an idea of how insane this was, that price adjusted for inflation is... A hundred and sixty-four thousand eight hundred and ninety-nine dollars in 2018. Wow, that's a lot. Do you know how much Kirby merch I can buy with that? I don't know, at least five? Exactly. Nothing could sustain these costs, especially since a lot of players felt that it was just a rip-off of Space War and had to abandon the whole idea because they had no money and really just had no plan. So that was our only hope? No. There is another. A few months before the prototype installation, Pitts and Tuck met a man who said he was working on a similar game, but figured out how to make it much cheaper. That guy was Nolan Bushnell, creating the first arcade machine known as Computer Space, and the future founder of Atari and the father of video gaming. Ooh, sounds ominous. See you next time for the early years of the video game industry. Welcome to Arby's. How may I help you? Yeah, can I have the meats?